Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I hope you enjoy my painting videos. So today I'll be painting, guess what? I'll be painting a still life painting and I chose the egg or an egg as, a, as my subject for today's painting tutorial. If you've been uh, uh, watching my videos for a while or if you've been a follower on my Facebook, uh, you probably have seen me do a lot of egg paintings. Uh, some of them are not really, um, or I did not really do painting tutorials for, but yeah, I just want to show you today how I do an egg painting. So I'm just so excited. As you can see here, my canvas is already painted black because we'll be using the black background as the background for today's painting. And we will only be using a few colors today because, you know, egg doesn't have so many colors to it. So here are the colors that we'll be using for today's painting tutorial. Again, if you're not, or if you don't have a black canvas, just paint it black. As, uh, just like the way, or just like what I did here, it's a white canvas actually, but then I just decided to use a black canvas, so I painted it black. So again, here are the colors. We have permanent orange, titanium white, lemon yellow, burnt sienna, and black. I don't know if I'll be using black anymore but it's still there because i painted my canvas black so i'm gonna sketch first the subject before we proceed to detailing as always so for the sketch i'm just gonna use an ordinary i always say ordinary it's very relative but you know when i say ordinary meaning you can choose any brush that you want as long as you're comfortable using it for sketching you don't have to have the exact brushes uh, what I have here because you know we all have different um, brushes I don't want to compel anyone to buy anything from the store simply because um, they're following my tutorials you can improvise and you can sometimes use another paintbrush and you'll get the same results so just um, just saying that um, I'm not really limited to any particular brand any particular canvas size even so Please uh, do as you want with your painting. I'm gonna use a regular brush as I told you guys. And for the sketch, I'm just gonna use my burnt sienna. Mm, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow so that it's quite visible because the background is already black. So using a dark color for the sketch will only make it hard for you to see the, the sketch. So I'm gonna use a light brownie color. And let's start first with the egg because we're doing eggs anyway. So you can see here I'm freehanding everything so I will or I might do some um, corrections or adjustments as I go later for now let's just do this oblong again I, I keep saying oblong every time I do this shade so this egg is right here but this is placed on a wooden it will be placed on a table okay so let's do the bottom later and then I'm gonna do the broken egg This is like the shell. Right. So what I really like about painting eggshells is that they're so... Um, it's quite dramatic, you know? I don't know why, but something is broken, something like that. But something is beautiful, even if it's broken. Right. All right, I, I sound a little bit dramatic, but I think that's the beauty of painting. We see a lot of things that our naked eye will not really see. 
Alright. So I'm gonna underpaint first the subject. So there will be the egg yolk is right in here. Okay. We'll be doing some light play today. And I'll do my best to make it as realistic as possible. Okay. Again, I told you guys that it will be placed on a table. So it's like, right, like that, okay. Okay, like that. Let's leave it for now, just like that. And then let's underpaint now the subject, which are the eggs. Okay, I'm gonna use this brush to underpaint. I'm gonna use my brown. I'm gonna add yellow to that. I'm gonna add a little bit of, I don't know, orange. I'm just experimenting, okay? Yeah, a little bit of orange. Maybe more yellow. So something like this color. Maybe a little bit of white just to make it more creamy and brown like this. I'm going to try this one. Okay, I think this is it. do or I'm gonna combine more of that color All right, I'm going to darken the bottom portion of the egg. I'm going to mix my brown, a little bit of black, a little bit of yellow. Okay, now let's try to blend a bit because we're using the same color for this. I mean, the color that we use here, we're going to use it again. But this time we're going to blend, try to blend a little. Maybe I'm going to add a little black. So you know me, when I blend, I also use my hand directly on the canvas. Okay, now I'm going to add white to this. Okay, I'm going to blend it again.
I'm gonna use my pure brown. Again, as you can see here, I'm doing it layer by layer. We started from dark layer and then we, uh, we switched to a little lighter color. I'm gonna use my black and brown. I'm gonna do that on the bottom. And here to give some shadow. I want to leave it like that for now okay let's proceed to the next part which is the eggshell of like this one the, this eggshell I mean so we're going to use the same color right here brown orange maybe yellow okay maybe more orange and a little bit of white and yellow I'm going to color this uh, this shell. So here, also here. Okay, I'm gonna add white. Because you know the inner lining, it's not the lining, the inner lining of an eggshell is uh, white. It's not really pure white, it's not the titanium white color, but it's, it's lighter in color compared to the color of the shell. Alright, like that. Okay, now before we go back to the shells, let let, let's just allow the paint to dry. Let's move on to the egg, uh, what is that? The yellow, the yolk, okay? So I'm gonna get my orange, okay? Mix with yellow, add a little bit of brown. This will be the underpainting for the egg yolk. It's quite dark. And let's just paint the egg yolk part this color.
right, just like that. And then I'm gonna allow that first to dry. Oops, that's too much orange. I'm gonna add yellow because I accidentally grabbed my orange. My paintbrush is telling me what to do. So it accidentally um, touched my orange paint. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna add yellow. I'm second layering already. Um, I keep layering because my background is black. So the black color is peeking through the already painted canvas. All right, I'm gonna allow this first to dry. All right, before we move on to the next step, let's go back to the first shell or to the first egg. And again, I'm gonna use a bigger brush so that I get things done quite quickly. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna add my black to create some gray color. I'm gonna add brown. Make sure it's gray brownie color. It's not just gray. We're trying to be consistent with the color of the egg. So the highlight should be a little brownish, a brownish in color. So we're gonna highlight the left side of the egg. Okay, any weird things will be deleted later. Okay, just to highlight and also the right side of the egg. Just gonna grab my black and clean that part. All right, like that. Again, let's go back to this egg. I'm gonna get my brown, my orange, and my yellow. to second layer it or even third layer I I think we've been layering this area quite thickly simply because we want it to we want the colors to blend and we want the black paint underneath to be hidden Okay, now I'm gonna get my burnt sienna in black. Let's go here. You can use water if you want, just to make the paint quite fluid. So here, okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a smaller brush. I'm gonna get my black. Let's go and make some small details. Okay, now let's try to separate this eggshell from the other egg or from the whole egg or the unbroken egg. Again, just adding some dimension. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Let's proceed to the next uh, part, which is here. I noticed that it's kind of hard for me to speak today. <laughs> it's like my English is, um, I don't know. <laughs> Please forgive me. So I'm gonna use pure white. And I'm gonna make some highlights just around the edge of the shell highlight okay like that Okay, and then here, okay. And here as well. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. I'm gonna get my yellow, just pure yellow. Let's color this area yellow. So you can see as well, I'm using my fingers to drag the color. I'm not using the brush because, um, Sometimes I cannot really achieve that look that I want when I'm just using the paintbrush. It doesn't do everything for me. So I'm going to get the help of my own hands. So I'm just going to spread that yellow. On top of the orange color that we have here. just not yet done definitely we're just starting to apply some layers every time I do an egg painting I do a lot of layering it's just part of it so now I'm gonna get again my orange but this time I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of orange okay that's too too much orange right there And I'm gonna use it to relayer this part of the egg. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna make some blending right here. Then I'm using orange. Okay, now that we still have this orange, I'm going to add white. Because I, um, when I look at orange, when I add white, it looks a little more pink. It's not pink, it's more peach color. So I'm going to use that peach color right here. It will suggest translucence. This is like the membrane, okay, that we see on broken eggs. Okay. I'm going to apply it here as well. Just like that. Okay, wash your brush up. Now I'm good. I'm just allowing this area to dry. Still wait for me uh, to apply more layers. I'm gonna add some drip. But before that, let's proceed to this uh, wood where the eggs are placed. So I'm gonna get my brown and yellow and white. Okay, maybe add a little bit of black. Let's create suggestion of patterns of a wooden uh, surface. And then I'm gonna grade the bottom section because we're playing with light today. So I'm gonna use my black and white. I'm just gonna gray a bit. It's too dark. So you can even go a little abstractish with the background. As long as it's quite lighter. going to add a little bit of drama going on
All right, I like it. So that, you know, we're playing with light. So we're going to have some suggestion of light. It's not just black. Okay, now I'm gonna use a small brush. Okay, I might use not just a small brush, but a pointy one. So that I can create that drip. Okay, so the egg white is like falling down this egg. So it's quite dramatic. So I'm gonna uh, dab onto my white. Okay, add water so that it's more smooth when it um, when you drag it onto your canvas. Okay, not white. I'm gonna add a little bit of black. I don't want it to be super white. We're not yet doing super highlighted um, brush strokes. So I'm gonna apply. that I feel like I'm not breathing okay. allow it to drag naturally if your um, brush stroke is not straight or it's not uh, what do you call it like there are spaces spaces in between it's all right it becomes more natural looking so don't worry too much about that we actually want that. So we're gonna add a little bit of drip. that I'm gonna use my pure white add some Some of that. Okay. Pure white. adding white and as you can see here I'm dragging the white I'm not just leaving the white when I apply it like that I'm dragging it using my fingers mm -hmm. 
that. And using white, I'm gonna mix it with yellow. So white and yellow. Some yellows. All right, like that. Then I'm going to get my orange and darken it with a little bit of brown, and I'm going to use it. On certain areas like that let me check oh so nice we're not yet done with the drip so i'm gonna get my black just pure black and let's go and redefine the drip So the wood. For the wood or for that surface on which the egg is placed. I'm just going to darken the surface like that. And here under. Just like that. I'm going to mix my brown with my black. Let's create more details on the wood. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white mixing with the black but it's all right I'm gonna add yellow okay white I'm gonna randomly apply it here and there just like that 
Let me check. All right, that's nice. Okay, I'm going to get my yellow. Again, get your yellow. And I will glaze it. Okay, I'm not really painting over it. I'm just glazing it, you know, trying to um, make it uh, more connected to each other, like each part of it, the highlights, the underpainting. Okay, I'm going to get my orange. bit of yellow so as I told you guys I'll be layering a lot and I cannot really say this is a beginner type of painting but I don't want to classify anymore as long as you want to do it you can do it definitely it's not about oh this is a beginner or oh, this is a intermediate if you want to do it just do it you don't want to limit yourself by telling that you're just a beginner everyone begins somewhere but you cannot go anywhere if you don't move from that um, where you began I'm just saying All right. I'm gonna use a small brush my pointy brush okay, I'm just gonna extend a little bit okay, those Just gonna extend, add a little bit of detail of unevenness. Okay. I'm just gonna lighten this area. Now to lighten it, just add white. So you can see here, I have my brown. I'm just adding white. And using some light orangey color. Just gonna spread it right here. Okay, using some dark brown, I'm going to go along the edges.
at least I thought. Okay, using pure white. Let's go back. some in yellow I'm adding a little bit of brownie color so that it has dimension. Then white detailing. Now let's go back to the first egg. Okay, what time is it? Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna get my gray color. Okay, so get white and black. And we're going to dry brush. gonna get my yellow I think that's too yellow we don't want too yellow so I'm gonna spread the color using water we don't want too yellow I mean too much yellow just a hint of yellow on the right side of the egg Then a little bit of brown. Then some dark browns. Okay, just like that to give it more um, light play and contrast. Right. 
Okay, brown and white. And then yellow. Let's try. I'm gonna get my orange try to make this area quite orangey it's like orangey brown A little bit of brownie color inside. Okay, I think what makes it quite complicated is that um, there are a lot of layering, but there's really nothing to worry about because it's just paint. You are not prohibited from repeating the video just to learn. Anyway, I'm going to use a little bit of brownie color on the drip because the drip kind of catches um, the color of the brown table and a little bit of detailing Highlights of white. Some light brown.
some dark brown right here so that we add dimension to this shell. I think this is too black, so I'm gonna switch to a lighter color. It's too black. All right, like that. Let me check. Okay, this is nice. Okay. I want to give this area a more highlighted um top Let me check yeah like that bit of orangey yellowy Oops, sorry I just dripped my I just dropped my paintbrush I'm gonna lighten this area a bit. Adding small details here and there. Alright, let me check. Yep, I think we're done. Oh my god, I we finished it in one hour. I couldn't even believe that. Oh my god, we're done. I think we're done, guys. So I think I can sign this now because it's all good. So I'm gonna sign this now and I'm gonna use actually if you want to go a little further with the wood 
patterns because um, like that make it more looking rustic. So yeah, I'm going to sign this now because we're done. So for the signature, I'm just going to use my white. I'm going to sign. I'm going to sign right here. And we're done, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it because I love painting eggs. So we're done and I hope you enjoy this one and it's quite different from the usual ones that we do because I've been doing landscapes lately. So I hope you try this one out and I hope you change your routine sometimes. I know that there are moments that I keep going back and forth on a certain area, but you know, we still came up with this uh, very nice painting. So I'm really happy about this. And I think uh, I'm done with my day. I just want to relax for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you're doing this one, let me know in the comment section below. Tag me on your social media post. Let me know that you're painting along with me. Or just comment in the section below what you think about this painting. So see you in my next video, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.